What's up guys, Josh here. I want to do a quick uh, demonstration on drilling stainless steel. So, um, a lot of people come into my shop actually telling me, oh, you know, stainless steel, it's impossible to drill. Um, you know, it never, it, the tip burns out. I went through 20 drill bits, <laughs> that sort of thing. And everybody always asks me, Josh, what are, what are the best drill bits to buy? Honestly, I buy the cheap ones. I do not buy anything fancy. I don't buy the worst ones. I'm not, I'm not buying Harbor Freight drill bits. Guys, don't buy Harbor Freight drill bits. I'm sorry, Harbor Freight, for telling for telling everyone that. But yeah, those are the cheap ones, and those will just they're just they're awful. But I buy basic Milwaukee drill bits. I mean, I don't, I'm not buying anything fancy. This is these are just black oxide. They're not cobalt. They're not titanium. These are just good old fashioned Home de decent Home Depot drill bits. These are the 135 degree point split point. Uh, those drill through metal fantastic. Because they're actually got a double bevel on there, it actually gets the cutting edge all the way up to the center. And that's what's, that is important. Uh, that does make a big difference. Well, what I'm going to show you is no matter what drill bit you have, I mean, as long as it's designed for cutting metal, whether it be a regular, what is a 118 degree regular point, doesn't matter. Uh, my tip is to use a pilot hole. So if we wanted to drill, let's say, uh, quote, let's say, yeah, 516, why not? 516 drill bit. So I want to drill a 516 hole. I always start with an eighth inch. Now, let's make sure, and this is actually, guys, this, just to show you, this is actually a uh, knife steel. This is 440C uh, stainless steel. This is not, uh, this is not your average uh, stainless. Type 304, which is mostly what most guys, contractors are drilling through, you know, wall coverings, backsplashes, that stuff is softer. This is the tough stuff. Um, but anywho, I always start with an eighth inch. Moderate pressure. Let me tighten this. And go slow. I mean, the trick is to go slow, and that's that is the best advice I can say. A lot of guys want to max it out and go as fast as possible. Go slow. Go half speed. Go quarter speed. Drill bits burn out with friction. Oh wow! And I'm gonna look like a royal jerk here because I got a cheap drill. All right, guys, please bear with me here. Wow. I can't even do a demonstration properly. All right, we've got a hole. Drill bits burn out because of friction. Friction creates heat. Uh, so what do you do? You could always break out good old-fashioned oil. Uh, drilling fluid, that type of thing. Oil obviously reduces friction. Or you could try to cool it. So... If I'm drilling a bunch of holes, you can either hose this thing down with WD-40. Uh, WD-40 will, or oil makes a mess. You're going to have oil everywhere. It's not easily cleaned up. I like to use water. If I'm drilling, dip, it, dip the tip in the water, keep drilling. Now, as long as that drill bit stays cool, you have no problems drilling. This thing will stay sharp for a very long time. And that is my advice. Uh, yeah, I do not need to buy anything fancy. I really don't. But, for example, let's dip this thing. Make sure our drill bit's decently lubricated and wet. Can you see the steam coming off of that thing? Alright, that tells me, let's dip it again. That means it's getting hot. Okay. Alright, now, now that we have a pilot hole drilled, this little hole makes a world of difference. Doesn't matter if you're drilling 516, quarter inch, half inch, that pilot hole makes a world of difference. And again, this is my this is my advice. This, these are my tricks that I've learned in my career. Um, I'm a third generation metal worker. Uh, I'm showing you guys, I'm demonstrating this stuff with really horrible tools in my garage. Uh, so of course, I, I don't have the best setup here. I, these are garbage tools, they really are. But this is stuff that I have at home. This is, I expect this is what other guys have at home. All right, let's dip it. Okay. 
All right, so worst case, I just have water. Water is easily dried. I mean, get a towel, whatever. Water cools. This is not lubricating. It really isn't. Uh, if, if you want to consider it minorly, but this is a coolant. This is reducing friction. Honestly, I don't want to spray this on my table. I don't want to spray this on my piece because I don't feel like getting oil all over the place. Uh, <laughs> but again, that just goes to show you guys my little trick for drilling stainless steel and hardened metals. Go slow. Go very, very slow. Use a small, use a small drill bit first. This drill bit is about one third to one fourth the cost of a larger drill bit. So I could, pr I probably buy these things from at my shop for about a buck twenty a piece. Uh, and I'm just buying basic split point black oxide, decent ones, made in the U.S. You don't need to get any fancy German ones, you know, nothing imported from, you know, aerospace technology or NASA technology. Just get the right good old-fashioned U.S. made black oxide split points. Go slow, start off small, then step it up to your larger drill bit. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you Please, if you have any questions, give me a heads up. Uh, let me know. Uh, again, if you guys got tips for me, heck, I want to learn too. <laughs> so, guys, you got any advice? I'll shoot it over to me. And, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And if, please subscribe. That, also, that helps out the channel. And I really do appreciate you guys watching. Share the love, guys. Later.